What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on how I created this very simple minimalist spring makeup look. When I do this makeup it takes me probably a little over five minutes but for the purpose of explaining certain tips and tricks that I like to use this video is a little bit longer. Bear with me and hopefully you guys like it. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is make sure that my face is well hydrated. So I use the Proteiny Cream by Drunk Elephant. This has been my go-to for a really long time. I just like to put this all over. Kind of use it like a primer for my skin because I don't normally use primer. I know, it's a crime, but it's just so expensive and I feel like for at least my skin type and for the kind of makeup that I do for a more like wearable everyday look, I feel like it's not necessary. The next thing I use is this lip mask, but I use this basically as a lip balm. I use it all the time, and then I kind of go heavier at night, but I just put this all over my lips to make sure that they are well moisturized. So by the time I get to that step of the makeup, that they're not like cracking and gross and you know, all that fun stuff. Well, I'm going to fill in these dark eye circles because they're pretty bad. So what I'm using kind of as like a base because I don't like to wear foundation is this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Vegan Concealer. This is in the color 330 Fair. So I'm just going to put this under my eyes, a little bit down the bridge of my nose corners and chin. So these are sort of like my problematic areas. And then I actually really like this Chanel brush. I don't know what the name of it is. It came with the foundation, but I like to use this to blend in the concealer as well, especially around my eyes. It's so soft and I feel like it really does a good job at blending everything in. So I like this because you can still see like natural texture of the skin if it would focus. And it's just like not too heavy, which is what I like for a spring sort of look. Light is going crazy right now, so hopefully this cooperates with me or I may have to film tomorrow. Okay, well that's a bummer. I forgot to press record. Ugh, annoying. Okay, well we're just gonna go with the flow. For my nose, I like to use Kevin Aucoin Sculpting Powder in the color medium and this thing is basically empty because it is so good. See, so I'm just using basically the ends of it, but I like to go in and contour my nose with this because ashy colors mimic more natural shadows and I feel like bronzier tones that are more orangey while it makes you look good and sun-kissed it doesn't really look natural to have that for contouring so I normally use this one for like things like my nose and then under my chin so like my jawline and a little goes a long way as you can see like this already looks really heavy so we're gonna just try and blend that out After that, I use my handy dandy Too Faced Chocolate Soleil uh, bronzing powder. This is my go-to. I love it so much. I feel like it's the perfect color for my skin tone, especially when I'm pale. I feel like it's not too orangey, but it still also shows up when I'm tan, which is nice. Just take a little bit of that. And we're gonna go Give ourselves a little bronzy glow. Can add a little bit to that and then bring it down on the neck. And then I just add a little bit on my forehead and then sort of like bring it down my nose if that makes sense. I feel like that makes such a difference and it doesn't feel really heavy on the skin. I don't know if you can see my skin up close, but. It's just still very natural looking and I like that it doesn't look tacky and cakey which is not something I like when I'm going to be like out in the sun if that makes sense. The next thing is my absolute favorite. If there's two products that I could not live without, 
It'd probably be concealer and blush. Hmm, I don't know. Actually, maybe mascara and blush, but definitely blush. So this one is my favorite. This is a really good multi-purpose stick. It is a little on the pricier side, but I use it for everything. So this is the Chanel blush. I forget what it's actually called. I think it's like multi-stick or something. I don't know, but this is in the color blush number 24 and it is just such a pretty coral color like a cream contour stick so i just add that on my cheeks on my eyelids a little bit on my nose as well i'm just going to take a brush and sort of brush that downwards so that it's like naturally gradient if that makes sense and then the concentrated parts are kind of more towards my cheekbone so that this is really blended and then you kind of have more of like a definitive line here if that makes sense so my eyelids as well you can definitely use your fingers for this so sometimes i'll go in and add more to my eyelids and then just use my finger to carefully tap that in and then take this and also put it on my lips. So it kind of gives that whole monochromatic look. Everything matches and goes and it just looks effortless and easy. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my cheeks because I really love that overly blushy look, especially for the spring. As you can see, like this is pretty nice as it is. It's very natural and I would wear my makeup like this, no problem. But we are going to add a bit more because why not? So this is the Hyper Real Glow by MAC. This is still today one of my favorite highlighter palettes. Got this actually at an airport in Peru because I left my highlight at home um, and it was the best thing ever. I love this so much. So I normally use these two colors, but I kind of just like messily, I don't know. I'm not afraid of being messy with my makeup, so. Add that where the high points of my like jaw, I mean cheekbone, <laughs> and my nose, and I feel like that makes a really pretty difference already. And then I'll just take some and add that kind of to the corner of my eyes. I'm going to fill in my brows. Eyebrow pencil that I'm using right now, I tend to switch it up, but I'm absolutely loving this one. This is the color light brown, Chanel 202. This is a really nice troll. Brown. I feel like it's not too warm and it's not too cool for my skin tone so if I have brown hair or if I'm blonde I feel like this goes really well with both so it has an angled brush on one side and then a little spooly fluffy thing on the other and I sort of start with the bottom and kind of figure out what shape I want and then I kind of do the top part of the like second half if that makes sense and then kind of brush upwards for the front and this gives a very natural fluffy but clean look and then I'll just brush that in and then kind of just like go fix the areas that I feel like need help so I'm gonna do that to the other side I definitely like to concentrate a lot on the ends just gives it that really nice clean look and then feather the front part I'm not too much of a perfectionist with my brows like kind of like them messy and big and all over the place so I'm okay with these next we're gonna put a little bit of a wing so this is the Fenty Beauty eyeliner. I love this one so much. For the longest time I was using the Kat Von D eyeliner and I feel like there's nothing wrong with that one but this one just mm, makes me feel like I'm better at putting eyeliner than I actually am um, and also who doesn't love Riri. So I'm just going to take a bit of a wing and kind of go more upwards versus like side if that makes sense and then I just attach it. like that and then same on the other side and then attach 
such a concentrated at the ends. I feel like it sort of lifts the eyes up and makes you look more awake and happy versus sometimes when I put it on the top, I just feel like it's a little heavy. Next for mascara, which makes all the difference, this is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara. And I love this one because it is cruelty free. So they don't test on animals and when they came out with this line i bought everything i bought the highlighter i bought the mascara and the primer and they're all really great but this is definitely my favorite mascara ever so this just makes your lashes look really natural and long it separates them really well and i like that it really brushes the lashes individually versus like clumping them together we'll see how i do today but for the most part i think it's pretty Pretty amazing so when I put my mascara on I always like kind of work the brush like this way if that makes sense and try and rotate it so that it's getting an even coat of uh, mascara on all the lashes because I feel like if you just brush this part you're gonna use one side and not the other so I like to make sure that I'm rotating and then again sort of like bringing them this way and then I'll grab the front pieces and brush those upwards and if you get mascara on your eyelid it's totally fine <laughs> you just clean it up but look at how much of a difference that makes I don't know if you can really see it but I feel like it makes such a difference and then basically just do the same thing to the other side gonna take my lip liner this is the one that I've been using as of late this is just the Sephora pencil in pink beige and I find this to be a really good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk one I actually think I like this color a little bit more because it's more peachy versus like purpley I don't know it's more like coral tone versus purple tone if that makes sense the top of my lip I feel like my bottom lip is pretty big, so I don't really focus too much on that. And I'll go in and take my finger to make it look a little more natural. And the very last step is I take this freckle pen. Um, so this is vegan and cruelty free. Just got this from Misguided. And this is in the color original, I think, maybe, I'm not sure. So I already have some beauty marks and freckles, but I like to go in and add more, especially for the summer and, uh, I mean the spring and winter when you don't get a lot of sun and you feel like your freckles don't really come through as much. And by adding the concealer and stuff, I tend to cover up whatever is there so I just add a bit like that I normally don't add lipstick but because my nails sort of match this color we're going to today this is my favorite YSL lipstick I actually don't know what color this is because it's just a bunch of numbers and when I tried to rebuy it um, they said they just continued it so using this sparingly so just add a little bit and this is so good because I feel like it's really hydrating and creamy compared to like most lipsticks. And there you have it, the final look. It still makes the skin look natural and you can see like the textures of the skin, but it adds a bit of a glow and some color without taking away from the features too much. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, let me know what videos you wanna see and I'll get those to you. Hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are.